It was 500 years ago. In the year 1517, in Wittenberg, Germany, Martin Luther had been studying and lecturing on the Book of Romans. He became fearfully captivated by one word in chapter 1. In the Gospel, the righteousness of God is revealed. He hated that phrase, the righteousness of God. For God's righteousness, he thought, surely meant God's righteous punishment of all unrighteous sinners, including him. At the same time, Luther was wrestling with his church's practice of selling indulgences. For a fee, one could pay off guilt or remove payment of sins. Johann Tetzel, a clever and aggressive indulgent salesman, was coming to Wittenberg, Luther's home. So on October 31st, 1517, Luther nailed to the church door 95 theses meant to engender academic debate about indulgences. At the time, no one could have anticipated, not even Luther himself, the reverberating effects of this moment. Luther continued to fight indulgences while still wrestling with his own unrighteous standing before God. The righteousness of God in Romans 1.17 was of no comfort to Luther until the context made it clear. The righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith. As it's written, the righteous shall live by faith. Finally, Luther grasped God's just righteousness as a gift from God to those who believe. What would become known as the Protestant Reformation was nothing less than the recovery, spread, and flourishing of the gospel of Jesus Christ. This leads us 500 years later to the theme of Clara 17, Romans and the Reformation. This is a conference on the book of Romans that will seek to show forth the glory of the historic gospel. Along the way, we'll learn about the Protestant Reformation, its history, theology, and most of all, its sole dependence upon scripture for matters of faith and practice. We've invited two speakers to help us think through Romans and the Reformation. Mark Dever, senior pastor at Capitol Hill Baptist Church, and Greg Gilbert, senior pastor at Third Avenue Baptist Church. These men are committed to the heart of the historic gospel and the further reformation of Christ's church. These men love the book of Romans and praise God for the reformation that it brought and continues to bring every time saints gaze upon it. Join us for Clara 17, Romans and the Reformation.